The transistor is the most wonderful of inventions. It's given us radios, mobile phones, calculators, computers, heart pacemakers. In fact, the internet would be inconceivable without the transistor. So what is it? Well, the transistor is a little electronic component. And the wonderful thing about it is that it can magnify or amplify signals and switch signals. And that's what we're going to show right now. So this is a typical transistor. This is an MPN transistor called the BC109C. And if you look at the transistor, it's got three connections or three leads. We've got the first one is the emitter, the second is the base, and the third connection is the collector. Now when we use the transistor, what we do is we set up a current from the emitter to the collector. And then we apply a very small signal into the base. And what happens is that small changes in that base signal actually cause large changes in the emitter collector current. So essentially we get a much larger copy of the little signal that's going in on the base. And that's how we get amplification. So that's how the transistor works. So I've got a simple little circuit here. I've got a 9 volt battery, uh, an LED light and a resistor and two connections. If I bring the connections together you can see that the LED lights. The resistor by the way uh, is put in because the LED only needs 3 volts and it's a 9 volt battery. So the resistor just restricts the flow of electricity so that the bulb doesn't burn out. Now obviously with the two connections together the LED lights, even if I break the connection of course the LED doesn't light. Now if I put my fingers across here, there is actually a current flowing through my fingers. It's about a hundred times too small to light the LED, and so obviously you don't see the LED lighting. But we discovered already that the transistor can amplify signals. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wire up the transistor into the circuit. And initially, nothing happens. But if I now let the current flow through one finger, uh, from the battery into the base of the transistor, that current will effectively be amplified about a hundred times actually, just enough to light the LED. And you can see that the LED lights. So now we're showing the wonderful amplifying action of the transistor.